Hey everyone, I'm Mario Lopez. Don't go anywhere because profiles will be coming right up. Welcome to Profiles, I'm Jeanette Ng. Today's guest is actor, television personality, and dancer, Mario Lopez, perhaps best known for his role on the popular comedy series, Saved by the Bell, and more recently, Dancing with the Stars. Mario is also host on Extra's Weekend Edition and the Miss America and Miss Teen USA pageants. After a short break, we'll join our host, Mickey Burns, as he welcomes the popular Mario Lopez to Profiles. Welcome back to Profiles, I'm Jeanette Ng. Fresh off of his success on Dancing with the Stars, Mario Lopez accomplished what every actor dreams of when he made his Broadway debut in a chorus line earlier this spring. He was an instant hit on The Great White Way and quickly established himself not only as an outstanding actor and dancer, but also as the hottest body on Broadway. So let's join our host, Mickey Burns, on location at Ashford and Simpson Sugar Bar in the heart of New York City as he welcomes the chiseled Mario Lopez to Profiles. Okay, let's do the whole combination. Please away from the mirror from the top. A five, six, seven, eight. Mario Lopez, welcome to our show, Profiles. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. It's a pleasure meeting you. Now, I read somewhere that you uh, were offered the role w in a chorus line without an audition. Mm -hmm. uh, that's something rare on Broadway. Is, is that true? Yeah. Well, I, I've been offered um, a few a few roles uh, on Broadway, and I guess it was based on what they saw that I could do on Dancing with the Stars, but from Chicago to producers to Greece. Mm -hmm. um, I was, mm -hmm. And for some reason or another, it just didn't work out, mainly schedule conflicts. Sure. But I'm really glad I got to work out with Chorus Line because it's a, an iconic piece and um, I, I love the role that I'm playing. Sure. Uh, now, the, the uh, Chorus Line director, Bob Avion, mm -hmm. uh, said of you, he said, Mario Lopez is the most gracious actor I've ever worked with. Oh, that's uh, very, and, and very that's nice. quite a compliment. Uh, yeah. And in fact, I understand that they've, they've expanded your role mm -hmm. and actually have more stage time for you because of your presence there. Is that is that what's going on? Well, that's very nice of Bob. He's great. He's 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 awesome uh, director and um yeah, I guess yeah, they made uh they made the role uh they gave him a lot more time on stage. He's now dancing mm -hmm. in the opening mm -hmm. and, and um he, they've added some stuff in the middle. So yeah, they sort of So they're keeping you busy. Role. Keep him busy there. Yeah, it's, it, sure, there's no sure. intermission in the show, so it's pretty intense. Sure. Uh was it tougher for you learning your 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 part and your your, your dance steps? for a chorus line or the weekly new steps for Dancing with the Stars. Which one is more difficult? They're both They're both difficult. It's, they're just both different. One is more of a weekly grind being the, the Broadway show because there's eight shows a week. Sure. And it's a very physical show. Not to mention all the other stuff that I'm juggling at the same time. Um, so that, that makes it real tough. But on Dancing with the Stars, like you mentioned, you had to learn different dances and stuff that I've never done before. So oh, sure. the challenge of that was difficult. Sure. Mario, were you nervous about stepping into the already in place uh, cast at a chorus line? I was nervous and, and I hardly ever get nervous, but I, <laughs> I was pretty nervous because obviously they're, they're seasoned veterans of, of theater and, and I didn't want them to think, oh, who's this you know, TV guy coming on and think he is. And so I just went there straight out and I gathered them in a group and I said, listen guys, I've seen the show, you're all amazing, very talented, you have, uh, my utmost respect. I hope to earn yours. I'm going to yeah, work sure. real hard, and you know. We say real pros. They're real pros. I say anything you need, uh, like uh, any suggestions. I welcome them and good, good you know, attitude. And so, so they're real cool, and you know, I've worked real hard, and so so far, so good. <laughs> Is Broadway everything you hoped it would be? Um, yeah, I mean, I didn't really know what to expect, to tell you the truth. I mean, I, I always wanted to do it, mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and I knew it was very prestigious and quite an honor, and and I just didn't necessarily know what what it would entail, to be honest, but. Um, I quickly learned that uh, just with anything, it's a lot of hard work. But uh, I think the 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 reality of eight shows a week and it being you know it's so grinding. Good, it's pretty grinding. With, and it's, but with, with, if it was just that, then I'd be all right. Yeah. But plugging in all this other stuff that I'm doing makes it kind of tough. Sure does. Now on Dancing with the Stars, you were a finalist along with three-time <clears throat> Super Bowl champ 
Emmett Smith. Mm -hmm. My question is, what do you think it is about that show that has made it such a huge hit? I think it's one of the few shows that you can sit down, you can watch with your parents, with your kids. It's a family-friendly show. Yeah. Uh, even uh, as opposed to like American Idol doesn't have a mean spiritness about it mm -hmm. and um, you know it's entertaining you've got great professional dancers uh, sure. doing their thing and you're exposing this beautiful culture uh, sure. to people that might not be familiar with it and and uh, let's hope they don't burn it out because they're doing a lot of seasons quickly. Prior, prior to your appearance on that show did you have any formal dance training? When I was a kid my mom put me in some classes when I was a little kid many many years ago it was just to kind of keep me busy and out of trouble she put me Wrestling, you know, karate, a bunch of stuff. The whole, the whole, the whole shebang, but that yeah. was <laughs> over 20 some odd years ago. Now, you're also celebrating the release of your first, is this your first book? Yes. Titled Mario Lopez's Knockout Fitness. Mm -hmm. Looked at it the other day. Great body of work. Thank you very much. I'm really excited about the book because uh, fitness has been an important part of my life for a long time. And, and um, over the years, people have asked me, you know, what I do to stay in shape. And, and, uh, I grew up playing sports and what have you, sure and, and it being important to me, but made a lot of mistakes along the way and, and didn't really know too much about what was going on. In fitness. In, in fitness. Yeah. In fitness. <laughs> but through trial not and error. Personal not, life. not in personal no. life. <laughs> I didn't know too much was going on there either, but I learned, again, through trial and error. But made a lot of mistakes over the years, kind of um, educated myself with, with uh, how important nutrition is and diet and yes. workout programs, and now put together this book which offers a great six-week plan that's mm -hmm. designed for both men and women Fantastic. with uh, three phases, two weeks each. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you, mm -hmm. know, you sculpt muscle, burn fat, and sure. look great in time for summer. Yeah. Now, how does your fitness program differ from the many Get Fit Quick programs that are out there currently? You know, I think what I try to stress in the book is that um, variety is, is the key here because mm -hmm. my, my sort of number one rule of fitness is if you're not having fun, you're not going to stick with it. Very true. And it's something that you have to be disciplined in and, and a little sacrifice and you got to be consistent, which is the key. But um, uh, ironically, my, my workouts, I, I think, are consistently inconsistent. I try to mix them up, try to right. change it keep up. Keep it interesting. Keep it interesting, keep the muscles guessing. And that's what I try to stress in the book, along with a great um, nutrition program that offers uh, great uh, healthy recipes and delicious. Sure. Now, if there's one thing that I learned from reading the book, it's the importance of the good nutrition while you're doing any program. Right, correct. And you do spell it out in the book, uh, some of the common mistakes, because a lot of times we think we're eating properly, mm -hmm. but if you really look at it closely, we're not. Yes, correct. And, and in the book, you, you spend a lot of time talking about prior nutrition, which must have taken you a long time to learn. It took me a long time to learn, and that's the actual struggle in the workout in the sense that I love to eat. I'm very passionate about food. Yeah, you know, yeah. and I don't deprive myself. I'm not at a big calorie counter, but you know, I try to eat pretty clean or healthy during the week. Then I got a couple of cheat meals, what I like to call them, on the weekends. Sure. And I go nuts, and I eat nothing but a bunch of crap, and <laughs> makes me feel good. And then I go back to the grind, you know, sure. during, during the week. Sure. During high school, Lopez was a top wrestler. In his senior year, he captured a seventh place finish at the California State High School Championships. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with much more profiles after these important messages. Welcome back to Profiles. I'm Jeanette Eng. Fitness has become a trademark of Mario Lopez's success. He is currently celebrating the release of his first book titled Mario Lopez's Knockout Fitness. His cutting edge workout provides easy to use, enjoyable methods for burning fat, sculpting muscle, and simply looking great. Now back to Mickey Burns with the versatile Mario Lopez. One. Now, most people, as you mentioned, want results quickly. Right. However, you point out in the book, and you illustrate with your picture on the cover, you know, that, uh, you know, fitness like this took you 20 years of dedicated training to achieve. People should understand that as well. Right. I mean, now, now granted, 20 years is just kind of get it, but then again, I'm a slow learner. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 
So uh, I think it's as, as intense as you want to get and as, as uh, serious as you want to be about it and, yeah. and you know, serious as you want to get in your results. And listen, as long as you, you're breaking a sweat and you're making a little effort, you're going you're gonna to start to see little results. It just, you, gotta, you just got to be disciplined about it and a little bit consistent. All right.